All right, get ready. Valentine's Day is this weekend, and if you're looking for a romantic gesture, maybe forget dinner and just head to the hardware store. Love this idea. There's a bridge right here in Kansas City where you show your love with a padlock. Yeah, Joel Nichols joins us to explain. Here we are on the old red bridge just east of Holmes Road. It is a beautiful bridge, a lot of history here, and then the beautiful new red bridge is up above with Heidi Downer of Kansas City Parks and Rec. All of these locks here, 500 plus, and a lot of creativity. Absolutely. I am always impressed with the creativity and uniqueness of the locks that we have here on the bridge. Of course, some of them are professionally engraved, mm -hmm. um, but then there's an, others who kind of get, well, here we go. Here's a real creative <laughs> use of some duct tape. You can do a lot with duct yeah, tape, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that way they can find their lock just like that. They know where it is. <laughs> absolutely. It's a lot easier to find it when you have uh, some animal print. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's going to happen here on Valentine's? Valentine's Day. This would seem to be a perfect place to express your love. It is a great place to come. As you see, it's a little dark, but it on is. Valentine's Day night, we will have uh, floodlights lighting up the bridge. Mm -hmm. That sounds a little harsh, but it's going to be <laughs> uh, amb ambient lighting. Right. So it'll be a nice romantic place for you to come um, before or after dinner and lock your love to the bridge. The lights will be on from 6 to 10. What a beautiful uh, thing to do with your loved one on Valentine's Day. You know, there are environmental concerns at this similar kind of bridge in Paris. Not the same concerns here. So just to put the, the love lock here on the bridge. And this is also becoming a very hot spot for weddings in the Kansas City area as well. So from the beautiful old red bridge and all these locks of love, back to you. All right. Thank you, Joel. 50 Shades of Greatness.